Thank you for watching Back Porch Wisdom with Pastor Rob Wynn. We pray that this weekly broadcast will be a blessing to you. And now here is Pastor Rob Wynn with today's message. This is Pastor Rob Wynn from Cornerstone Church in Linden, Alabama. I want to welcome you to Back Porch Wisdom today. We're talking about the subject of we are able. You find in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, where the Apostle Paul says, we are able ministers of the New Testament. You know, I, I really, in my going around and a witness to people, I find that too many people that are born again Christians don't even know they're born again, much less believe that they're able to do the works of Jesus. They're basically believing that they're going to be able to uh, to go to heaven when they die, and the Gospels are so much more about the works of Jesus once you get born again than anything else, and walking in holiness and true righteousness, and. Uh, the disciples, uh, Peter and, I mean, John and James, uh, I believe that was them, and their mother, the sons of Zebedee, and their mother came to Jesus, and they're kneeling down, they're worshiping him, and uh, uh, she says that she wants one of the boys to be on the right hand, and one of the boys to be on the left hand. And he didn't say that that necessarily couldn't happen, he just said, uh, there's, a, there's a plan that, that somebody's already got that. But he says, if you want to be the greatest, you need to be the servant. And if you want to be first, you need to be the slave of all. And uh, he said, we're not, in other words, we're not going to be like the world. And uh, we're going to, there's a God system and there's a world system and we want to be like God's system. And uh, I believe last time we, we, we talked about it from the standpoint of being single hearted. And in the New Testament in Genesis, it says that God created us in his image, in, the, in, in his, his likeness. In other words, the likeness of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And so uh, we need to embrace that for ourselves because when we embrace that, we, we grow in faith and in power and in the love of God. And too many people don't really recognize that. They need to be that way as Jesus was that way, where he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. He anointed him in the Holy Ghost. And, and so we need to uh, uh, be of that kind and uh, being single-hearted in, in Jesus in John 17 he says I'm in the Father and the Father's in me and you need to know that you're in him and the Father's in you uh, uh, so that you could be one so that you would know how extensively that you're loved by God because all of God's works are initiated because God is love and his compassion and mercy go out to the people that, that he has produced. And so we need to have that deep revelation of a relationship in Christ that we don't just know that we're going to heaven, but we know that, that we can do all the requirements of God for, for walking in righteousness and do the works of Jesus at the same time while receiving the promises and uh, in the meantime. And so uh, when you look at it from that standpoint, it changes a lot of things. You know, we talked about it from the, the spirit within and the spirit with, upon, and we talked about it in John 14, the spirit in you is like a well that springs forth unto everlasting life. But in Acts chapter two, it's, uh, uh, excuse me, John 7, it's a uh, rushing mighty river. That's for somebody else. Then you find that in John 20, it's the breath of life, being born again. The Spirit come on the inside of you. And in Acts 2, it's where it's a, he's a rushing mighty wind. When you receive the Holy Spirit, he's a rushing mighty wind. In other words, 
he can blow and sweep as many people as you come in contact with into the kingdom of God and walking in righteousness and true holiness. And so we want to be of that kind of people. Uh, we need to be of the people that are actually spirit-led. And wh what I mean is, is that that comes by maturity. In other words, in Romans, the 8th chapter, the 14th verse is, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, or as many as the Spirit leads of God, these are the sons of God. It's not just your children, but you're the mature children of God. And so we need to walk and we need to function as, as the mature sons of God. You know, that talks about women. It's not just talking about men. Because when he talks about it from that standpoint, he's talking about the ladies also. And, and uh, just recently I was down in... Uh, Foley, Alabama, I went to work out and uh, uh, I was talking to the owner uh, about that subject and uh, how it's not good enough just to know that you're born again and going to heaven. You, you need to know that through Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit will be uh, directed by Jesus to cause you to do the works of Jesus. You know, when in Matthew 11, when Jesus was talking about that with the disciples of John, John's in prison, and this, his disciples came and uh, hung around with Jesus and his disciples for a while. And they, uh, they said that John wanted to know, he wanted this question answered. He said, are you the one Although you the Messiah, or do we do, do we look for another person? And Jesus directed him this way. He said, "You go tell John what you've seen and what you've heard." He said, "The dead are raised, uh, the blind see, the uh, the deaf hear, the lame walk, and the truth is preached to the to the poor." And so he, isn't it interesting that he didn't start out with being born again, he started out with the miracles. But you have to understand, miracles won't really keep you. I mean, you find in Mark 3 where Jesus' family uh, had uh, his mama, his brothers, his, his half-brothers, his half-sisters, uh, were questioning, he, he had just healed the sick and cast out devils. And, uh, and then they question in his insanity, whether he's sane or not. And then when you get down further in the chapter, because it says friends or something, you find out his mothers and, and his half-brothers and sisters are there at the door calling for him to have an audience with him because they wanted to take him and I guess to commit him or something. And he looked around the room, he says, my mother and my brethren are those that hear the word and do the work. So, listen, you want to be of the people that grow in Christ and you're able to do His works. Because you are able in Christ Jesus. And so, uh, today, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, it's time, if you're backslidden, it's time to turn back to God. And so, pray this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I know you want me to be reconciled to you and I ask Jesus into my heart and commit him to be my Lord because I know you raised him from the dead so that I could walk in holiness and true righteousness with you in Jesus name amen well go on uh, YouTube and look for Robert Wynn W-Y-N-N-E -N -N -E, back porch wisdom I've got uh, I don't know lots and lots of videos I've been doing this for several years. And then go on Cornerstone Church, the number four, the letter U dot com. And uh, my son, who is now an associate pastor with me, and he goes, he's going to be going in and out of Lebanon, Beirut. And uh, my wife, you can see all of us preach. My wife did an excellent message yesterday on Mother's Day. So God bless you and have a great day.
If you're ever in the Linden, Alabama area, we invite you to worship with us at Cornerstone Church. For more information and other resources, visit our website at cornerstonechurchforyou.com.